the workshop on bioplastics and sustainability is going to be on applications of sustainable polymers. So we looked at a lot of uh, these uh, sustainable polymers, which are basically bio-derived or bio-based in nature. And we look at where they basically can be used, right? So when you look at uh, food packaging in particular, you can see a lot of products in front of you, right? And uh, you'd find that uh, when we are talking about sustainable plastics, uh, it can basically be converted into anything that we see in front of us, right? We generally see that uh, there are a lot of uh, materials which are claimed to be sustainable in terms of their biodegradation. And uh, they came in the market uh, some four, five, six years ago. These uh, materials were polyolefinic based, but then the large part of decomposition that we generally call it was oxo based in nature. And that is where uh, a lot of governments have cracked the whip on these materials and uh, their need to be removed from the market in particular. So some other applications may include coffee capsules, very uh, popular in the foreign countries. There is something like dairy and dessert packaging, then uh, dry foods. So all the packaging that is used for dry foods, fresh produce containers, perishable items and fresh produces, they are also packaged in these kind of containers, temper bands. We are talking about this sleeve that is on the top, right? So temper proof uh, packaging uh, we want to make. There are meat trays, bakery items and all. So all these uh, materials have sustainable packaging in it in particular. Now look at uh, what materials goes for which packaging in particular, right? So PLA can be thermoformed films and trays which are transparent in nature, goes for uh, perishable items like fruits and vegetables such as strawberries, lettuce, peppers, etc. Then uh, bag cups and uh, cups and bottles uh, and it can also be in the form of a tray the application of it is going to be we are talking about now something which can be preserved for a longer period of time uh, something like bread then uh, tea bag hot drinks like coffee and tea from vending machines talking about dairy products like milk custard cheese yogurt and ice cream as well then we have pha uh, polyhydroxy alkanoids uh, can be used for trays and films into fresh meat and frozen foods then you have starch, it's a semi-transparent film which goes for foods and vegetables like apples, carrots, etc. You have uh, covering films with barrier function containers and it goes for uh, confectionery that we are talking about uh, chocolates and all and meat, fish, cheese, etc. Then cellulose in the form of cellophane goes for fruits and vegetables like tomatoes, bell peppers, etc. And uh, an increased barrier function can go for uh, covering films in the term of packaging. It goes for meat, fish, cheese, coffee bean, bread, butter, etc. So you can see these sustainable polymers have already found their use in all these applications. The next packaging domain is pharmaceutical packaging. So starch can be formed into sheets and used for protecting the glass dishes trays etc starch based bioplastics so maybe a blend of starch with another material are mainly bags and sacks that can be used as flexible and or rigid packaging there is xylan from algae so sort of a, a you know an animal based uh, material and chitosan from chitin which is an antimicrobial material as we have already discussed can be used for making eco friendly packaging material so gluten can be derived from various sources, something like wheat gives gluten can be used for manufacturing of edible packaging film. So imagine an apple and there is an edible film on top of it. In case of pharmaceutical, let's say there is a tablet and it has a packaging on top of it, which, you know, sort of keeps it binded together. Then there is Zane, which is an alcohol soluble protein. It is used for coating of pharmaceutical products. Soy, uh, which is again a protein, can be used for film, rigid plastic and coating materials. Now, we are talking about cosmetics packaging. So, cosmetics, we know that generally deals with two things uh, majorly in terms of packaging. Is that uh, bottles and tubes, right? Next is sustainable plastics in automotives. And this is one of the very first domains where you would have, uh, you know, or one would, you know, sort of see biopolymers or bio-based materials being used. So uh, in 1940, Henry Ford, who is the father of the company, which is Ford, he basically came up with a car which had completely bio-based, uh, you know, materials. Now I'm not talking about the engine or the structure that is inside. I'm talking about whatever can be converted from metal to something like plastic. And he used a thermoset chemistry 
so soya oil to uh, you know sort of uh, a thermosetting resin and he used uh, soya fibers as well along with that resin and then it's not just for a lot of companies have actually converted it uh, if not the polymer they have tried to convert the filler that is being used and they have tried to make conventional polymers which were not basically being used there along with uh, some uh, fibrous fillers so uh, this is the name of the original equipment manufacturer by the we are talking about the company and uh, which is the bio based material which is used so some have kept it proprietary right and uh, where it is derived from and what are the applications so mazda has used a biotech material which is a plant based fiber and it is used in the interior parts of fabrics so for upholstery uh, front grill grill etc so front fascia grill and upholstery we are talking about the the seats the covers and all uh, so they have uh, they have put it uh, for that purpose toyota used a pet and a pla blend uh, and uses a bio based polyester which is uh, so sugar cane based and bamboo and corn based and they have made a fabric and radiator end tanks along with luggage compartments speaker and floor mats right we have mitsubishi which uses a bio succinic uh, based material and uh, they have used it for foams for headrest armrest etc fuel lines hydraulic hoses corrugated tubes uh, so we are talking about pu the rubbery part of it coming into picture then uh, transmission of oil cooler hoses and uh, pneumatic tubes mercedes benz uses bio polyamide uh, along with uh, you know flex and uh, the engine and transmission covers and uh, underbody panels so again uh, because it is amide it can still be used in uh, these kind of applications like an engine cover bmw uses composites which have extracted from flax and sisal and it is used in panels right now we are talking about composites over here it is not necessary that uh, the whole of it is coming from bio based source it is an effort to still utilize something which is bio based in a fossil based composition porsche again a composite made from hemp fiber used in the body panel there is good market of sustainable materials in textiles and you would find that there are a lot of big brands they have come up with sustainable clothing so polyamide 11 which is trade named as rilsan can be used for sports socks and luggage casein can be used for home textiles sheets and towels a daily garments t-shirts socks and underwear then pla can be used for car seats tajin uh, that is mazda's vehicle has been using this bio front material and can be used for car front panels and eye frame glasses as well for surgical gloves protective suits and surgical threads polylactic acid polyglycolic acid fibers can be used for fibrous connective tissue mesh biodegradable polylactic acid plga microporous membrane for regeneration of defective periodontal tissue so you can see something like this can be used and there are a lot of global brands like one moment there is gucci puma uh, ap spa ford they have used various sustainable plastics which are either recycled or bio based for various applications including automotive medical footwear apparel so textile etc applications and the next application is optical bio polycarbonate play as the, the application suggests can be used for displays and optical films cellulose acetate which biodegrade can be used for various injection molded components bio polycarbonate for injection molding and extrusion then so these are names dura bio is there then progamid uh, terra which is bio polyamide for injection molded components and dumini is making pla for injection molded components and fiber spinning uh, there is still work going on this is a challenging application because we are talking about taking care of the light in the visible spectrum especially the short wave and light and there is be work going on for replacing the headlamp housing or the reflector panel or not the reflector panel the transparent panel with pla for headlights lenses reflectors and light guides to stand up to emitted radiation at the short wave end of the visible spectrum